Welcome back, my snaily friends. My name is Lavinia. You can call me Lav. And where the heck have I been? Right? It's been like a year. Yeah, it has. And I really couldn't be happier to be back with all of you. I've really missed you so much. And thank you all for the wonderful, kind comments. And I appreciate the mean ones, too. I hope you have a wonderful day. So, let's talk about it. Where exactly have I been and what the heck have I been up to? I have been at war. Who's thy enemy? Snail leeches. Periodically, there will be screenshots of different sources that I've utilized in the past year. Please pause to read them. I will also put all the links in the description below. All right, now Glossophonia combinata, compen, co Glossophonia combinata, com the damp snail leech isn't something you'd normally see in your aquarium. If you keep larger fish, these might be a tasty little snack for them. However, not if you're a snail. Or a snail breeder. From personal experience, and again, all my videos here on this channel are my own personal experience. I am not a professional. I am a hobbyist, just like the rest of you. And this was awful. You'll be able to tell the snail leech apart from, say, planaria, because they'll move sort of like an inchworm. They have two suction cups, one on either end, and that's how they move from surface to surface. There it is, right there. Ugh. To reproduce these disgusting, soul-sucking beings, I'm sorry, I'm being cruel. I apologize to any leech lovers out there, but I can't stand these To things. reproduce, these leeches are hermaphroditic, and they will reproduce with themselves and then carry their own babies inside of them. And if you pinch them too hard while you're taking them out of the tank, their babies will fall out of their bodies and the little eggs will drop down into the substrate, never to be seen again until they're big enough to destroy. That was a rant. You can see right here in this picture this leech has babies inside of it. It looks like poop. It's not. Those are eggs. I hate these things. I also want to point out that I don't think my loathing for these creatures is over dramatic or anything. I mean, they decimated my brood. I mean, I don't want to sugarcoat they it. They killed for you. every single one. It was awful. Every single one of them. Wow. See, I've tried to make this video like at least eight times in the past year, and I keep crying, and then I shut my editing software and I walk away from it. Half the time when it was happening, I couldn't even film what was going on because I was so distraught. I couldn't even pick up my phone or camera. No But way. I'm going to plow through. We're going to plow through here. Here's the damn leech. Here they are next to some duckweed for a size reference. The lethal little tiny packages they are. This was one day I must have pulled. It felt like a million, but it was probably 50 or so out of one tank and I was pulling them off the glass, I was pulling them off of rocks, I was pulling them off of the leeches, off of the leeches, I was pulling them off of the snails, I was pulling them off of everything. I tried all sorts of things to get rid of them, but after some time I noticed that not only were these snail leeches all over the outside of my mystery snails, but they were inside them as well. It was at that time that I sort of disappeared and I stopped selling even snails that I, you know, 99% sure they did not have leeches, I couldn't in good conscience sell those uh, just in case. I just stopped everything immediately and hid under a rock. Oh. The deaths began fast. I'd wake up to 20, 30 snails dead in a tank. The tank would be bombed. So then I'd have to fix that, pull out as many leeches as I could. The next day, same thing, more death. And it was like that, on and on and on, until it was all gone. I think above everything else, I was very embarrassed. Obviously, these leeches got in here. Yes, let's look at something pretty while we talk about the depressing thing. Um, the leeches got into my tanks by my doing. I mean, how else would they have gotten in there, right? It, it was something I did. Either something I didn't clean well enough, or I have a really bad habit of grabbing things out of ponds and not cleaning them well enough and putting them in my tanks, which is really bad to do. It's it's awful. And I'll tell you what, I probably will never do it again. I do have a nice outside setup that I am working on and will be improving and sharing with you guys this spring and summer. So 
anytime I get something from the outside, it's going to go there from now on. And in the future, I know that I'm going to be extremely diligent with and selective. Diligent? Diligent? Is that the right word? I'm going to be extremely selective with what comes into my tanks. I have to be because these leeches killed every single snail that I love. Every single one. It was really sad for me that everything was going so well. And the leeches came and they just sucked the life out of anything that I had built with their disgusting, life-sucking... So how did I get rid of them? I tried everything. I really did. I started by just manually removing them until their numbers became too many. And then I was desperate to try anything. I started with Panicure. Didn't cure. No planaria. No workinaria. Straight hydrogen peroxide. Clorox bleach in a little uh, pipette. And guess what? None of these things worked. I'm gonna repeat that. None of these things worked. In fact, the only time they seemed to die, I plucked them out of the aquarium, put them in a little dish, filled that little dish with bleach, and watched them rise. Which I enjoyed doing very much. I did eventually eradicate using them. Using two methods. One, I completely ripped the tank down. I cleaned everything to the best of my ability with a 50-50 bleach water split concoction that I sprayed all over it. I wore gloves and a mask and had a door open for ventilation. I really don't know why I keep referring to only one tank. This happened to eight tanks. Everything was dead in the tank. So, except the guppies. All my guppies live. And they're quick, you know? The guppies can get away from the leeches, not the snails. I threw the plants away. All those beautiful plants you're seeing there, no more. None of them. Snails, plants, everything. Everything's dead. They're all dead. I tried eradicating the eggs and stuff off of them, but these things lived in the root structures of these plants. They lit, I swear. They were, oh, they were everywhere. The information I could find on the life cycle said about two years. That's ridiculous. It's offensive. Way too long in my opinion. The other option that I found is starve them out. So if you just leave the tank alone with absolutely nothing in there, eventually they will starve and they will die. I had a little five gallon. It had leeches in it. Um, everything in it died. I didn't put anything back in it. I didn't do anything to it. And now, 10 months later, there are no more leeches. I don't know if this really worked, the starve them out method. I mean, it's still kind of ongoing. Watch, I'll see a leech tomorrow, probably. And if so, I'll update you. Now, a couple things. I have seen videos out there of rabbit snails with little black leeches on them. Those are different. I'm not sure if those uh, leeches suck blood or These not. These actually don't suck blood. There is no blood to suck out of a mystery snail. They just suck the mystery snail as if it's a stationary gelatinous glob of goo. They're gonna suck the life force out of your snails. You will see them crawling all over them. Symptoms include extreme lethargy. Like they just stop moving and uh, eventual death. So in my opinion, in my awful experience of this, do you have snail leeches? And you love your snails and have a lot of them? If so, all hope is lost and everything's gonna die. Too honest? I don't think so. I don't think so. Th again, this is just my experience. I walked through hell and back and here's my tank now, slowly making a comeback. Very sad, very depressing. Not much going on in there. I just need to obsessively keep an eye on everything. Make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be there. You know? But you can see, I do finally have little baby mystery snails. Woohoo! Look at those little babies. Everybody put your good juju into the world for these little guys. I really hope they make it. And I hope I can get back on track. And I want you all to know that I am here. And I will be answering all of your questions in video form to the best of my ability. And I do appreciate all of your wonderful, kind comments and well wishes and concern. And to repeat myself again, I was, I've was i been very embarrassed, and I still am. Not everything in this hobby is wonderful. This was awful. Absolutely awful. And I lost every single snail that I love. And we're slowly making a comeback. And we will. Better and bigger and brighter than ever before. And until then, I hope you all hang with me and continue to enjoy my content as I make it for you. And answer some of your questions along the way. If you hate leeches as much as me, hit that like button on your way out. Please leave a comment if you'd like. I'd love to see how you guys are and what you all have been up to and if you've ever dealt with snail leeches in your tanks and what you have done to overcome them. I'd love to hear. I love you guys and I'm glad to be back with you. And I'll see you soon. Until the next time. And don't forget, hug your snails. And perhaps give your snail an extra hug today from me. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon.